Alright then gang, so far so good. We've made two endpoints now to fetch all the documents and also to fetch single documents and they're both working. And at the minute, we're just testing those endpoints out in the browser, which is fine. But going forward, I want to start using a tool called Postman instead. And what Postman allows us to do is simulate requests to an API, which is what we're building, right? And then it shows us the response that we get back from those requests. Now, the main reason I'm using Postman instead of the browser going forward is because pretty soon we're going to start making delete requests, post requests as well, and update requests. And that's pretty hard to do from the browser unless we write some kind of front end JavaScript to do it. And I don't want to do that because that's going to shift the focus away from MongoDB. So instead, we'll use Postman, which allows us to simulate those types of requests really easily. On top of that, it allows us to save and organize all the requests that we make in a nice structured way. So you can download Postman for free at postman.com forward slash downloads. Just click on the download button and then follow the installation instructions when it's done. You might also need to sign up for a free account when you first fire Postman up, so make sure you do that as well. Anyway, once it's all installed and you're signed up, just fire it open and you should see a screen which looks a bit like this. There might be slight differences in what you see if you've got a slightly different version, but basically it's going to look pretty similar. So I'm not going to do a big deep dive into how every single thing works in Postman, but I am going to show the basics and how to make and save requests. So let's start with the get request for all of the book documents. So you can start a new request by clicking on the plus icon right here or go into file and then selecting new tab. And then once that tab's open, we can start to flesh out what this request should be. So first of all, it needs to be a get request. So make sure in this drop down you select get for the type. Then we need to enter in the URL for the request or the endpoint that we want to hit. And that's just going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and it's port 3000 forward slash books. So this is just the same endpoint that we've been using in the browser, right? And then once we've done this, all we need to do is hit the send button to send the request. Pretty simple, right? Now, once you've done that, we should see the response down at the bottom, which is a JSON response full of book documents, hopefully for you as well. So that's worked. We're getting the response that we expected. Now we can save a request tab so that we can use it later by clicking on the save button. And when we do that, we'll see an extra pop up asking us how to save it. So you can give this a title if you want, but I'm just going to leave it as the URL itself. And then we can also save it to a collection, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to create a new collection by clicking on new collection at the bottom. And I'm going to call the collection bookstore since that's what the API is going to be for and then we can click on create. And then once that's done, you can just click on save to save it. All right, so when we do that, after a second, you should see your new collection over here on the left and the request we just saved. So if I was to cross the tab off over here, I can just reopen it later by clicking on the saved request again. And if I hit send again, everything's still gonna work the same way. All right, so that's the request for all the books created. Let's also make one for a single book. So what I'm gonna do is click on this plus to open a new tab. It's gonna be a get request again. Then I'm gonna copy this URL so I can paste it in here. But this time it needs to be forward slash and then some kind of ID, right? Some kind of route parameter. Now I'm just gonna grab this one right here. So let's copy that and then go back over here and paste it in. So if we send this now, hopefully we'll get back this book, The Way of Kings. So send and we can see The Way of Kings. We've got that back. Awesome. So again, I'm going to save this by clicking on save and then clicking on bookstore to put it in the bookstore collection and save it like so. And now if we cross off both of these, I can open both of them back up by just clicking on them over here. Awesome. Cool, so that's two requests made now. And going forward, we'll be making post requests, we'll be making patch requests, delete requests, etc., to test out different endpoints. But now that's Postman installed and set up for our project, in the next lesson, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a request handler for post requests, and then we're gonna try that out from Postman as well.